Vitamin K2 is claimed to have an essential role in bone metabolism and studies are suggesting that it can help prevent osteoporosis, fractures and may also improve dental health. Let's see what are the best sources of vitamin K2. We have already made a detailed video on vitamin K2 and its health benefits. Vitamin K is fat soluble which means low fat and lean animal products don't contain much of it. There are many types of vitamin K2 but the most important two types are MK4 and MK7. Foods high in MK4 type of vitamin K2 are fatty meat like pork and beef, animal fat like lard and tallow, organ meats like beef, duck and chicken liver, dairy products from grass fed cows, poultry and egg yolk. Now first let's talk about goose liver. 100 grams of goose liver patty has 369 micrograms or 308% of your daily value of vitamin K2. Goose liver also provides 584% of your daily value in vitamin A, which is one of the key nutrient activated by vitamin K2. Next you can have beef liver. Beef liver is one of the most nutrient dense foods on earth. It offers 106 microgram or 88% of your daily value in K2 per 100 grams. Like goose liver, beef liver is also incredibly good for you. It boosts over 500% of your daily value in vitamin A and over 2400% of your B12. Unlike goose liver which can be pricey and difficult to come by, you can get the benefits of grass fed beef liver in the convenience of a whole food supplement. If you are not a fan of organ meats like liver, then you can turn to chicken for your vitamin K2. Per 100 gram serving of chicken contains 10 micrograms of vitamin K2. Next is you can try eel. Though most vitamin K2 sources are animal based, eel offers a seafood alternative. There are 63 micrograms in 100 gram serving of eel, meeting your recommended level for the day. Cheese is one of the best sources of vitamin K2 along with the nutrients like calcium, vitamin A and protein. However, they are also high in saturated fats and calories, so you should moderate your portions. Vitamin K2 contain varies based on cheese and it increases with age across all types. Common cheese with the highest amount of vitamin K2 per 50 gram serving include 50 micrograms in Moonster, 34 micrograms in Camembert, about 32 micrograms in Edam and aged Gouda and 12 grams in Cheddar. Vitamin K2 MK7 is found most abundantly in fermented plant foods like Japanese natto. These are nothing but fermented soya beans, sauerkraut and other fermented legumes. Natto is a potent source of K2 MK7 providing around 150 microgram per 1 tablespoon which is 200% of your recommended daily value. Sauerkraut is a fermented cabbage with a distinctive sour flavor. Like natto, this fermentation process offers many health benefits like promoting good gut health and boosting immunity. With 2.75 micrograms per half cup, Sokrat is also a great source of vitamin K2. MK7 works very differently in your body with the majority going to your bones and liver. MK7 produces the hormone osteocalcin in the bones which helps in regulating bone health, increasing testosterone, improving cognitive function and athletic performance and maintaining healthy insulin and glucose levels. Some scientists are convinced that people at risk of heart disease should regularly use vitamin K2 supplements. Others point out that more studies are needed before any solid recommendations can be made. Till now, there is no standard guideline for vitamin K2 consumption. However, it's clear that vitamin K plays an essential role in body function. To maintain good health, make sure you get adequate amount of vitamin K1 and K2 through your diet. You should remember that all the above mentioned food might not be suitable for you according to your current health conditions. Some foods are not advisable if you have heart related issues and other medical conditions. So consult your doctor and decide your diet accordingly. Alright, that's all for today. Hope you liked our video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.
थैंक यू